for 23, I am doing your seven day spread for the first week of January, January 1st through the 7th, 20, 2020. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature. Same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an eight dollar one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about twenty minutes, so please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can answer you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com. Um, I've got full size candles, do it yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones pendants, Florida water. Florida water soap, incense, sage, protection bracelets. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. It's something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on, on jamiezebra23.com. Also, the reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com, so you may want to take advantage of that. Okay, so we got a lot going on here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Let me pull a few more cards so we can get the whole picture. Um, keep in mind that these are general readings. They are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Whoa. Okay. okay. Aries, Aries, Aries. Lots going on. All right. So this is what we got going on. We got the seven of wands upright. We got the king of pentacles in the reverse, which could very well be a queen. No, no, baby. He got a power wheel, so he's uh, it's charging. He can't ride it because it's charging, so he's... Beeping the horn. So hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can't, sorry. Um, okay, so we do have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, could, that, which could very well be the Queen of Pentacles. Um, we also have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Queen of Pentacles upright, which could very well be a King. We've got the Page of Wands. We've got the Five of Cups. We've got the Magician. We've got the Ten of Swords. And then we got the King of Wands, which could also be a Queen of Wands. All right, so this is what we got going on here. Sorry, guys, I'm putting my meditation music back on. Where are you? Um, I'm a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. So if you're wondering, like, what the hell? That's what it is. Sorry, guys. I think I, um, I think I've got food poisoning. Okay, so this is what we got going on. All right. So I feel like for some of you, you, you're taking a step back. There's somebody who's being shady, somebody who's not telling you the truth. But I also feel like for some of you, Okay, guys, this, this channel's for everybody, so this might not be for everybody, but I feel like maybe somebody's a vice officer, so if you guys work in like a, a sort of business where maybe you're a lady of the night or a man of the night or you work in a strip club or any kind of sexually oriented business, um, I feel like you guys are going to have an instinct that maybe this person is vice or this person is law enforcement or undercover, shady. So I feel like you guys will dodge a bullet this week, or the this week that's uh, here. Um, you guys will dodge a bullet. I feel like maybe people around you will be telling you, oh, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. That's not true. Um, stick to your guns. If they want to go bye-bye, let them go bye-bye. Let them get caught up. But uh, you be smart, Aries, because it's showing the fire sign, you Aries, that, that doesn't get caught up in this. Um, you're very, very lucky. But I do feel like, for some of you, you may not even say anything to somebody. You might just be like, oh, uh, I'm, I don't feel good. I'm just going to leave. Or I don't, I, this or that. Um, so just be careful because I feel like um, maybe somebody's not going to tell anybody. And because they didn't inform the others, they're going to feel a little bit guilty. But they're also going to feel like, well, that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's the name of the game. You know, me first. That kind of thing. So, but some of you will be dodging a bullet. Now let's talk about something totally different. Some of you have a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, man or woman that's so freaking possessive. Like they don't want you going anywhere. They don't want you doing anything. Or this could be you, Aries, towards an earth sign. So freaking possessive. You don't want them doing anything, talking to anybody. You just want them under your thumb where you can find them. That's, you just, you don't want them to talk to anybody, nothing. So somebody feels really, really possessive, very very obsessed energy, very angry energy, very like twisted energy. Like, oh, oh, you, you snuck out in the middle of the night to go be with a guy, but you're going to be like, or a girl, but you're going to be like, but you were laying next to me this whole time. Like we, I, we slept together last night. I was here. 
Like they're going to be saying that you were doing absurd things. Whoever this is, they're like over the top jealous. Not like the typical, just like, n like no way. Like how could you really think that happened? So let's talk about something else. I do see that for some of you, there was an earth sign, not the same earth sign. We're talking about somebody else now, man or a woman that maybe at first they were coming in hot and heavy and then you pumped the brakes. You had to for whatever you discovered, for whatever reason. And it shows here you started focusing only on your money and you didn't want their love offer anymore. Or they were, or, or maybe they found out something about you, Aries, and now they only want to focus on their money and not your love offers. There's something going on here where somebody doesn't want to, where it's like, okay, um, I found out something about you, or I figured, you know, you're like this, and you're not really like the person that I hoped you were, so I'm just going to go my own separate ways, no offense to you, you know, whatever. Somebody's definitely moving on. And then with this Five of Cups, the Magician, the Ten of Swords, and then the King of Wands, which could very well be a Queen, I feel like somebody may go last resort. I think I got this for Pisces. I think it was for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Crosswatchers. Maybe some of you are connected to a Pisces, but it shows here that somebody, because they're hurt... <clears throat> They may try to go see a spiritual person to try to manifest you back in their life. That's so weird. I got that for both of you. Yeah, somebody's going to go to a spiritual person to try to manifest you back in their life. And let's say you don't go back in their life. They may try to harm you. They may try to like wreck things. But I feel like for most of you, you'll know what's going on. You'll feel it. You'll be like, okay, something's a little off here. I don't feel right. Like, yeah, this, I, I need to take a closer look at some of this. So I feel like that's going to be your energy. Um, okay, now let's talk about something else. So I do feel like when it comes to finances, finances are going to be like this for you guys for, for the January 1st through the 7th. You know, not bad, not good, just like that. So, but I also feel like um, you're going to manifest better when it comes to your finances this week. I also feel like with this King of Wands, which could very well be the Queen of Wands, I do feel like some of you will be getting over uh, being backstabbed, heartbreak, and moving on. Possibly some of you will be moving on with a fellow fire sign, a Sagittarius or Aries, but I do feel like there could be marriage involved. Maybe this person was married and you guys felt stabbed in the back, but now you're like, eh, <clears throat> I still want to be with them. So some of you could be carrying on with a married person, um, could be Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius person involved here. Maybe they're hurt because you're married or you're hurt because they're married, or this could be a fellow fire sign, Sagittarius or Aries. Somebody's hurt because another party's married. They let you fall in love, or they fell in love, and somebody didn't disclose this. Let's hope not, guys. I also feel like some of you, when it comes to your own businesses or when it comes to uh, careers, that's got to charge, baby pumpkin. Let it charge you. It's got to charge you, or it won't work. Um, I feel like you guys are really focused on just your business, business, business. Things are going to get better for you guys financially. You're growing something. So it's just the beginning of this. So whatever it is, it's just the beginning. It's, it's going to get to where you want it to be. All right, guys, jamiesieber23.com. Ta-ta for now. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment.